Hello, this is Diana Ballard, and welcome to the Mom Training Podcast, where we discuss the skills and strategies to create possibilities in motherhood and make it more fun, efficient, organized, and peaceful. It's all for me! Or is it? If you've been tuning in every week, you probably listened to the self-care series we just recently finished. After talking to a close friend, they asked me, what is the reason you want to take good care of yourself? Is it to feel good, be happier, love life more, or is it also for someone else as well? That sparked a whole bunch of thoughts which created this podcast. So why do we want to organize ourselves, have excellent self-care, learn how to emotionally and mentally cope, have a positive mindset, and have those harmonious relationships? All of those things I just listed are to take good care of ourselves, to feel good, be happier, and love and enjoy life more. But we also need to remember that it's not just about us. But feeling our best is for the people around us as well. Our kids, husband, or whoever else is in our presence often. So in order for me to really treat the people around me how I want to treat them, I have to organize and take care of myself. So why are we talking about this today? I really want to drive this home, literally. For the sake of your home, you, and your family. Our children, husbands, and self need us. This world can be harsh, and there is nothing sweeter, more comforting than a loving mother. Some may not feel that they had that as a child, but I believe that everyone has a desire to be loved that way. Each person desires to be loved in a gentle, kind, and loving way. There's nothing better than a mama being a kind and gentle place. Will we be like that every second? No. But we can continue to try each day to get better and better at being a place of comfort, love, and kindness. And being that place of comfort, love, and kindness takes courage, strength, patience, and making an active choice to be that way. So what if we could become a safer place, offering comfort, love, and kindness for our children and family? If you feel like you have a lot of work to do in this area, that's okay. I want you to focus on one day at a time, one moment at a time. Can I choose how I react right now in this moment? Can I choose how I spend my time and treat the people closest to me? Can I pause in a heated moment and choose to respond how I want to? Again, our family, our children, our spouses need us. And I believe that in order for us to be there, to be that kind, safe place, we need to feel good. When I'm not taken care of, I feel horrible, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. In those moments, I waver on being that safe, kind place. It's 100% crucial for me to take care of myself, to be what I want to be for my family, loving, gentle, and kind. My choice to get distracted and neglect a piece of my self-care made the next day hard for everyone, including myself. I had focused on my struggle and imbalance those days. But when I stepped back, I realized this isn't right. They shouldn't have to suffer because of some choices on my part. Loving my family and being able to be kind to my family because I feel good is way more important than what I had been working on those late handful of nights. I shifted my focus to protecting them, and it made my self-care more important. So I want you to step back and look at how you are doing. First, at how you are feeling physically, emotionally, and mentally, and if you feel good, or if you feel drained, sad, stressed, wanting to check out from life, or just plain unhappy. Then look at how you feel you are doing with being a safe, gentle, loving place, bringing awareness, not guilt, to the situation. If you've struggled with your self-care, sleep, nutrition, mindset, human connection, what has been your motivator before? To feel good? to look good, fit in a cute dress. I want you to think about your kiddos, husband, and whatever family may look like for you. And think of them as you think about prioritizing your self-care higher on your list. How does my lack of sleep affect them? How does my mental and emotional state change the environment? The goal is to step back and not just think of ourselves, but of how our actions and physical, mental, emotional states affect the people around us. Your best you is who is going to be the game changer, a world influencer, and a loving, safe place. 
And that first starts in your home and with the people you love. Come follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more tips and inspiration at Diana Ballard Live. That's at Diana Ballard, L-I-V-E. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so it can notify you when the next podcast comes up. Hopefully we're getting other mamas involved and we'll see you next week on the Mom Training Podcast.